Tonight, a painful process is taking longer than expected for one Saudi Daisy family. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kim Chapman. One woman believes skeletal remains found in November belong to her son. Four months later, the body still has not been identified. Taylor Stewart shows us what's causing this delay in the family's attempt to find closure. Taylor. Josh, the family members say that detectives show them pictures of what was found on the body of those skeletal remains, and they instantly knew that that was their family member. Today, pictures of Jerry Leroy Guest hang throughout the King family home. Ruby and Rhonda King, his sister and mother, begged for his safe return last July. He was last seen. He had walked down the hill from my mom's. And they it's talking just vanished without a trace. The case turned cold until Rhonda King says information from a detective led her to believe her brother was dead. Hamilton County Sheriff deputies found skeletal human remains here on Boy Scout Road in Hickson last November. There was a wallet found with prepaid cards in it and one of them had my son's name and his ex-wife's name. Ruby says the medical examiner's office hasn't given them a time frame. It would mean a lot to me to have a place where I know that he was at and I could go visit, talk to him. We asked the Hamilton County Medical Examiner's Office why the family hasn't gotten answers. The skeleton is currently in Knoxville with Dr. Marks, who's doing a two-fold examination. We pressed them on the King family's concerns. I understand that the family is anxious to get their next of kin back, but right now we don't even know that it is their next of kin. The medical examiner says that the first priority is to figure out the cause of death and only then can they begin searching for DNA evidence that would connect the body to that family. Right now we're live in Chattanooga. Taylor Stewart, News Channel.